looking like this morning, y'all. I ain't doing nothing today. I was supposed to go home and fold clothes and get my house in order. But it looked like Saturday gonna be a clean day for me because I'm just feeling very, very freaking sluggish. Hey y'all, happy Saturday evening. As y'all can see I'm in the car as usual. On my way to go uh pick up my cousin and drop him off somewhere. So yeah. I actually wasn't planning on coming out today, but I did need to come out. But I was just being lazy. So I'm just using this as my excuse to go out here and do what I need to do today. Uh, Y'all have seen these shades before. I just decided to pair it with my olive green dress that I got from Fashion Nova. Baby, is you gonna turn? Like you had to turn that damn way. shit on your car if you got to drive like that. You holding up traffic because you can't turn. way he gets to pick his own dog you know what i'm saying so yeah we're we're gonna scratch that puppy and it's crazy because i got all the stuff lined up and now we're not going with that puppy but better safe than sorry also um after mom talked to the guy a little further you know he kind of factored in that you know being that sheldon is artistic and we're wanting a dog for a therapy dog that it would probably be it would probably be best if we got him 
a puppy puppy. Them 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 dogs, them ain't puppies. Basically is what it boiled down to. And they've been previously owned by other people. And he was like, you know, it would probably be best that we got a fresh puppy that hadn't been owned by prior owners. That way he could train the puppy up and the puppy could grow with him as he grows. You know, things like that. And he could train the puppy specifically for him and for our family. Like, adopting those dogs or that dog, we don't know what we're getting. We don't know where they come from. We don't know what triggers them. We don't know how they were brought up. You know, things like that. So, I think that worked out for the best anyway. So, yeah. I saw my homegirl, uh, Bree. Her dog has some puppies. I would love to get one of them, but I know that they're pit bulls. That's uh -uh, on the list for dogs we can have at our apartment. And I know they're going to get big, and I don't really want no big, big dog. You know, we have a small apartment. There ain't enough room for no big dog. So, um, that exed out those puppies, you know. But I had seen on her um, Snapchat, I think it was, I had saw some pretty ones, and I was like, oh, I would love to get them, but can't have those type of dogs. And like I said, they would get pretty big. If judging by the mom, they would get kind of big. So, yeah, that's no option. But anywho, that's the update on that. So I'm going to go out here because I've been recording for about seven minutes now, six and a half minutes. I'm gonna go out here and get off of here. I'm almost out here to pick up my cousin. I need to get some gas and stuff and get some more stuff. But I'll holler at y'all whenever I got something else going on other than me riding in the car. Alright, y'all. So I'm in McDonald's right now. Y'all, I'm gonna be Gave me his order. He wanted two cheeseburgers, no onions, with a fry and an apple juice. And of course, I'm here. Don't want to cook. I cooked this morning, though. I actually did some, um, for some reason, I had a taste for it, but I did some te uh, teriyaki chicken over some white rice. And I ate that for breakfast this morning. But I ended up getting me a, uh, double quarter pounder with cheese, a light on the salt, some fries. I already know they ain't gonna be light on my salt. And I got a Coke. I've been on my Coke kick again, y'all. Which means I'm finna have to do a cleanse in the upcoming weeks. And um, I got the spicy, crispy, spicy chicken sandwich but I'm probably not going to eat all of it I'm probably going to save one of them burgers for uh, our sandwiches for later on but yeah so that's what we get just drop my kids and off did some catching up and talking and stuff man so yeah he doing his thing next in line to pay and Sheldon just called me talking about the power that went out. Of course, y'all know he don't like the dark and he's never been in the dark without me. Quite frankly, it's not really dark because the sun is shining bright today, but um, he opened the blinds up or whatever. So he's just, 
he wanted to talk to me until his he wanted to talk to me until his nerves calmed down. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna try to hurry up and get back home as soon as I can. Okay. Guy working uh, McDonald's drive through collecting. We had a uh, we had an apple juice and a mm-hmm. okay. No, I had the um two cheese burger meal with the chicken sandwich, spicy chicken sandwich. Okay. Thank you, you too. Sorry, y'all, I didn't talk to y'all line. So what I was saying is to the guy working the McDonald's drive through taking the money, um, thank you so much. Because you really didn't have to do that. He um, put the change on my total for me. That way I could get an even, you know, dollar amount back or whatever instead of having to give me change. So I appreciate that because you really didn't have to do that. I've never had somebody do that for me. <laughs> You know, in a drive-thru, let alone McDonald's drive-thru. So that was real nice of him. I appreciate that so much. Even just y'all can see, today it was pleasant at McDonald's. Why, well, I don't know, but it was very pleasant. Food, his food. And trying to figure out what the heck is going on and why we don't have power. <sighs> And it's crazy because we don't have air weather right now, so what's really going on was tea. Because homie don't play that when it comes to that weather. I mean, to that, uh, the lights being off. And that's what I was trying to say. I was like, son, you went a whole week without the lights being on. He was like, yeah, but you was ill. And I was like, but it's daytime. And then that's when I was like, open the blinds, son. He was like, oh. <laughs> oh that kid there is a mess, I'm telling you. He be a big boy until the lights go out. But he the one who be choosing to stay. Now if I said something about I was going to pick up a man, a boyfriend or somebody, he would have been like, uh-uh, I'm coming with you. But I said, I'm going to go up and go good. And he like, uh -huh, I'm good. But he also know I don't be out there long. So that's why he be cool with it. And I try my hardest not to be out long for that reason. I mean, you know, he's 11. He's 11, so he don't do nothing but be off up in that room. He don't, he know not to go to that door. I've told him, you know, anything go wrong, call me. Let me know. I don't care if I have been gone five, ten minutes. Call me. Baby, you got the blinds wide I'm gonna go ahead and check on him. Hey guys, so this morning I am coming to you with a how I apply my wig. It is Sunday morning. I'm getting ready for church. So I'm gonna probably be doing this kind of quick because I still have to jump in the shower. 
and do my makeup. He's so rude, y'all. Let's do a lint check on the dreads. This is them fully down. I wore it in a ponytail last night. But that is the lint check, you guys. I'll insert a picture and show you guys where it was. It was like literally up to here in the front. And now as you can see, it is at my chin in the front. The back is past my neck, middle of my shoulder blade. But yeah, so I'm about to go ahead and apply this wig, you guys. This is a long bob or mid-length bob. Um, it's the wig I always wear pretty much. Um, my cousin Roshonda from Roshonda's World bought me that wig. Um, and you guys seem to like the new hairstyle, <laughs> which honestly all I did was wash the wig, combed it out, um, and stuff like that. And just put a, a little clip on it. I slide it back a little bit so I could get my sideburns under control. But first, I'm gonna turn around and let y'all see. Okay. I had it smushed down. I had it smushed down in like a little bun area back there. And that's what it looks like. I hope y'all can see that. I don't know. I'm doing this on a whim. I just woke up in a good mood this morning, you guys. <sighs> Why? I don't know. Because I didn't do nothing yesterday. Okay. I had to go and grab my mirror and my blow dryer. How I forgot that, I don't know. All right. I have a mirror back there, but because of the glare from the ring light, I can't really get up over there. Let's see what I'm doing. Okay, sexual so what is you about to do, girl? We're about to work on these edges on these sideburns, honey. I am trying to set up me a um, dreadlock hair appointment. I just messaged my homegirl today with that. So hopefully she gets back to me by the end of this week, hopefully, before the end of this week. I'm trying to have it done for the um, for the bridal shower. I hope y'all can see what I'm doing. I don't have it close at all. It's not a tutorial. It's just basically showing y'all what I do to my hair. Because we're gonna glue that down. Anyway, this is got to be glued, you guys. Got to be glued, not Gorilla Glue. So Y'all, I feel sorry for that lady. I wasn't going to speak on it, but I feel sorry for her at first. But then I thought about it and I was like, yo, you know, you 40, almost 40. Like, you knew better than this, sis. Like, you read that about it. Like she said, a lot of people, I was watching a lot of people talk about it. And a lot of people were talking, about, you know, talking about stuff they didn't know or they didn't pay attention fully to what was being said. You know, she had that glue, the um, Gorilla Glue. She had that already at her house. She had already purchased that. And um, basically, she had used it around her house. She knew what it was for. So, strike one there, sis. You knew what it was for. Um, it wasn't like she went to 
the hair store or went to the store and was like, oh, you know what? Today I'm not going to try to got to be glue. I'm going to just go over here and get the gorilla. No, she didn't do that. It wasn't like she just went in the store, picked it up and said, I'm going to use this on my hair. She had used it for something else. And when she ran out of the got to be glue, she remembered she had that present in her house and she used it. Now, here's where my dilemma comes in at when it comes to that. Yeah, she used it. She knew what it was for. She knew better than that. But y'all, you ever been like, how can I put this? Was sounding like I'm condoning what she did. You ever been like, you know, you, like say for instance, you put glue on your hand. You know the glue is for arts and crafts. It's not for you to be playing with it on your hand. But we used to do it and make like our skin was peeling and stuff. Because we feel like, oh, we could easily wash this off. I feel like, honestly, even though she knew what it was for. And she knew it wasn't for her hair. I honestly feel like the lady thought that, okay, I'm only going to wear it for X amount of time. When I get home, I'm going to wash it out. She honestly thought that it would wash out of her hair that night when she got home. But it didn't. You know what I'm saying? Because it was a chemical reaction and it was stronger than she thought so every time she wetted you guys this is what people fail to realize i'm gonna go ahead and blow dry it was at this moment he knew he fucked up oh my god sorry y'all i had a malfunction i'm gonna go ahead and blow dry this Okay, it's still a little tacky, but that's cool because that's just gonna help with the process of the wig going on. Okay, I'm gonna line my wig up. I don't do all that, put it to the front, throw it back, sling it. Uh uh, I don't do all that, I just place it on my head. Make sure it's lined up. Snapping my front underneath the wig cap. Locate my comb back here. Slide it down. It's a wig. It's not rocket science, you guys. I am secure as far as the combs go. And the, I got a string in the back that I make tight. Press it down. Now, I press it down because I want it to go ahead and stick to the glue that's already there. Go through and comb it because it's been sitting on the counter. So, kind of got a little scraggly even though I had combed it out already. But as you can see, because I worked through it, it's not as hard to comb through now. Okay, and you can leave it like this. It's on, it's secure, it's straight, or whatever. I'm just pushing down the dreads and the hair in the back. Because it is a little hump there. Now what I'm about to do is lift this part up. Kind of slide it back a little bit. Go in and spray again. I let that kind of do what it's going to do. Okay, but yeah, y'all, I honestly think that, you know, that's honestly what happened. She honestly thought that when she got back home, it was going to wash out. And then when it didn't, she tried washing it out some more. I'm guessing she tried. I know in her video, her TikTok or whatever, she made the statement that she tried washing it out 15 times 
and it didn't uh, wash out. I'm not, I'm honestly thinking that she didn't just sit there 15 times and do it. I'm honestly thinking over the course of the month, she washed her hair 15 times and um, it wouldn't come out. So you see guys, now I'm just pushing it down to make it lay down. And then I'm gonna go in with my blow dryer and do that. Okay, so the wig is laid, like I said. It's not going nowhere. I'm waiting on it to finish drying underneath there, but um, it is done, it is complete. I see I'm lit back the hair is doing something up with. They kind of already dry, but you know, got that. Normally, when I got a little time, I tie it down and just go about my day doing whatever. And then when I'm ready to go, it's fine. But I have to still get in the shower. So what I'm gonna do is. I'm gonna go ahead, put my clip on. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, do what I normally would do. I am gonna put the clip on, which is not what I normally would do, but when I get out the shower, I want my hair to be done. I don't wanna have to fool with it. Uh-oh, brushing too hard, y'all. It ain't set yet. Ah. See, two dollars in a tutorial. She don't know what she doing. And I took that behind my ear on this side. Cause for some reason I always love my swoop on that side, but you know. Go ahead and put my clip on. It's just a regular old clip, y'all. Matter of fact, I think it used to have like leopard design on top and I scraped that off cause I wasn't feeling it. Put the clip on, boom, that's that. It's now clipped out of my face. And that's the hairstyle, you guys, honestly, that's all I did. Now what I'm about to do is actually, because I am about to get in the shower and I already know that it's not set yet. I'm just gonna take this little scarf, which I'm gonna tuck this behind my ear for now. Make sure I pull it tight, pull it up underneath the hair. Like that. Pull it crossways, tighten it, bring it back up, and just right there where my hairline is, I'm gonna apply more pressure here to help the process of it securing. Tie this up. And bam, took, whew, rescue the little earrings. Okay. I'm gonna brush out my back. And I am going to, the reason why I didn't secure the back is because I am gonna put a shower cap on. So I'll just flip it up like that right there. Put the shower cap over it. That way, you know, I don't have a hair tie denting in my hair or the wig whatever so that's it you guys that is how i do my wig that's it um let me know down in the comments your opinions on the gorilla glue girl which i'm not gonna call her that because she did say she didn't like that name her name is tessa i think it's tessa or tessa but i think it's tessa uh or tessica is her name yeah it's Tessa because it, i remember it sounds like jessica but it's tessica um so yeah, basically, 
you know, that's my rundown of it. I know I didn't go too far in detail about it because I don't want this video to be too, too long. But, um, that's what Shonda texted me now. It's 11, girl. You know that. <laughs> but anyway, um, that's just my opinion. I honestly believe that it was an honest mistake or a stupid mistake that um she just honestly thought that she was going to be able to wash it out like any other glue or whatever product but she didn't realize that if this stuff can adhere wood and uh pipes and you know household things that it would cause some kind of damage to her hair hair is very fragile it's strong but it's very fragile you know we put a lot of stuff on our hair a lot of chemicals and as you can see when you put chemicals on your hair it can be very damaging you can lose your hair you can have all spots you, your hair could stop growing different things like that so honestly you know being that that was made for specific things you know it tells you not to get it on your skin for a reason um when you're messing with certain chemicals, you have to be very, very careful. And that's why I ended up going through my natural process um, some years ago. Well, I know it's been over five years ago when I started the natural process. Um, stop perming my hair. Stop dyeing my hair. Um, I just let my natural hair do its thing and then when I got to a point where I wasn't seeing any growth or I felt like I wasn't seeing any growth and I didn't know how to maintain it and do it myself without constantly having to pay somebody to do my hair for me uh I switched over to the dreadlock community and I see so much growth even with my dreads I wash it maybe once a month um I don't too often put chemicals well I don't put chemicals in it at all um, I do use certain products, but nine times out of 10, the only products I'm using on my hair is shampoo and conditioner. And that's when I wash it like once a month. Um, I oil my scalp at least two to three times a month. It just depends on how itchy my scalp is. Uh, I just started the process of the, um, the apple cider vinegar, uh, baking soda method where I clean my dreads, but I'll only be doing that process like every six months to a year. Um, just until I get a a gauge on how often I should do that. Um, my hair doesn't get too, too dirty. So I'm thinking that, you know, I could probably do it once a year. Um, so, yeah. That is it, you guys. I'm about to go ahead and put my um, shower cap on. And get in the shower and I will see you guys after I am dressed and ready for church. And then you'll see the finished product. So thank you guys for joining me. Like I say, if you have any comments on Tessica Brown, I think that's her name. Um, you know, the Gorilla Glue situation. Y'all leave it down in the comment section. Um, if you like seeing me get ready for church, you know, my hair and stuff, how I style my hair. Leave it down in the comments, you guys, if you want to see me do my makeup again, but in a shorter process of, like, what I actually, like, you know, that's when I'm going somewhere I do the full on, but if you want to see what I do on for, like, just a random day, then um, leave it down in the comment section. If you like my videos thus far, you have any suggestions, leave it down in the comment section, you guys. Give me some feedback of what y'all would like to see. Which I like to see. I know I do daily vlogs, so you never know what you're going to get from me. But um, if there's something specific you want to see or you, you want to peep in on, just leave it down in the comment section and I'll try to make it happen. I do have, like I've been telling y'all, I do have some videos that are coming. I'm just waiting on certain things to get in so I can get started on at least one of the projects that I am trying to do. Um... So, yeah, it's a lot going on. Um, I am about to get ready and set up Sheldon's account. He has a couple of videos stored up. So, before it gets too far out there, I'm going to go ahead and start his channel. So, in the next video that I upload, after this one, of course, this is Sunday. So, this one will be uploaded probably tonight. Um, in Monday's video, I'll let you guys know... Um, when exactly to expect his page or his channel to be up and running um 
So yeah, also I'm going to be doing my nails to get ready for this bridal shower. So if you want to see that action, let me know you guys. As always, I'm not going to close it out because this video isn't closed. So anyway, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey y'all, we are in the court and headed to church. As you can see, this is how the hair turned out. And now... Uh, I am, of course, always running late, y'all. Always running late. But anywho, um, about to stop by the gas station, put some gas in the car, and then head on out to church. I know everybody gonna be looking for me. Because <sighs> apparently I got a full house for Sunday school. Um, just did my little eyebrows and To get my um, pens and stuff for Sunday school. Didn't even think about my lips was dry. And bare. Oh well, she's still girl though. Who gonna be a hater and say? Yeah, in the shades, Misha Lewis. 